Hey troops, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ryan and today we've got an update on the Israel-Palestine situation. Today's date is the 19th, I believe. 16th, I'm three days ahead. Um, 16th, the 11th troops. This information is updated every single day. So um, those that are wondering, it's updated every single day and I'll normally give timestamps when I'm um, talking about certain bits of information, troops. But before we get into it, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and drop a comment for the algorithm. So let's get straight into it then. So map, Israel, Palestine, got Gaza down here. We're not going to get into the ins and outs of where these areas are. Um, we spoke about that quite a bit on the channel and I'll let you do your own research if need be. Um, but let's just get straight into it, troops. As of 19 minutes ago, in the northern part of Israel on the Lebanon border, right here, um, just outside Nakora, which is a, as you can see, a, quite a developed place right next to the beach. An Israeli warplane uh, carried out an airstrike on the southern forests of the town of Nakora. So Israel's actually, you know, quite literally above that um, borderline there, striking these areas. So this is where it says it occurred. I believe we've got a little bit of footage on that, which isn't, um, it isn't going to depict too much other than smoke in the air. There's no sound on there either. Um, so they're targeting that area, um, which is just south of that borderline there. A little bit of a photo, a couple of photos, yeah. Nothing too much going on, really. 22 minutes ago in Egypt, the foreign minister says, we have a strong will to reject any form of displacement of Palestinians. So they have a strong will to reject any form of displacement of Palestinians meaning they don't want to take any one refuge, really. The Israeli army again storms Al Shifa Hospital and demolishes the hospital walls. Seen um, videos and stuff yesterday of them literally raising the flag um, in the hospitals where there is quite literally people losing their lives as um, that operation was taking place. I don't agree with that. I don't like that. It's not um, good form. And it's went from, you know, retaliation measures to get Hamas out to quite literally taking over that land again. If we talk about security um, and then providing a continued presence within the region, that's effectively them taking that land by force um, and justifying that with the initial tax that happened on the 7th. So, yeah, it's, it's not good, guys. It's not looking good at all. Now, France, let's head to France statement coming out of France saying Israel does not have the right to decide who will rule Gaza in the future and Gaza must be part of the Palestinian state. Um, I agree with that but we're not seeing that being played out. Okay, The playbooks at this moment in time is um, showing that Israel um, are prepared to take Gaza and they want to be in charge of it effectively and what they're doing it they're kind of disguising it as a military security operation you know normally when you go into an area you cause unrest like Afghanistan it um, there's a turn all right there's a shift in the war it becomes a kinetic operation then it kind of turns around where you've meet, met your objectives effectively you um, then change it into a security operation providing security for the um for the people who live there, okay, you've destroyed the place. Now you need to effectively um, keep law and order to a degree. And military law and order is when everything else has failed, including governments, okay. So Israel's stomping the foot down, stating that they want to um, be the authority there. And it certainly looks that way anyway. Now back over to Gaza Strip, right next to the Alaska University. The Israeli army says that during uh, operational activity by the paratrooper brigade, so they send the paras in here, guys. So we know that paratroopers across the world are formidable fighting men uh, and women. So they've sent the paratroop brigade into Sheikh Ejan area. Israeli army soldiers have been engaged in battle uh, with Hamas militants who had opened fire towards Israeli soldiers on the 202nd Battalion. And I believe we've got a little bit of um, footage. Yeah. 
So we can see them engaging. Tanks on the ground. Full on kinetic operation now. And strikes as well, troops. So full on um, conflicts happening within this AO. Um, now back with the Israeli artillery shelling target Shabbat and Al Wan Hills in the Kafashuba Heights. For reference, where that is, it's there we go, north um, eastern part, not quite bordering Lebanon, but uh, close enough troops. That's what those air shelling targets look like, and on the mountainside there as well. Three hours ago, Israeli artillery targets the outskirts connecting uh, these towns here um, of Al Daria, and the other place is called Alma Al Shab. So you can see here, pretty much um, along that line. I think that's the what, what's that called? They're calling this the Alma Al Shab, but that's a borderline there. Is it the North Five Five Hundred or something? I can't remember. Uh, so the artillery has been targeting these specific areas all the way across that line there, guys. Palestinian Ministry of Health Al-Shifa Hospital is besieged for the fifth day in a row. So people are losing their lives as a result of this. These hospitals are places should be treated with the utmost respect from both sides, okay? We understand Hamas is harbouring militants and uh, weaponry in the basements quite literally of these places, but you can't go destroying these when there's um, people receiving health care within these um, hospitals, guys. It's wrong. Palestinian Foreign Ministry says that Israel's decide to abolish all forms of civilian life in Gaza Strip as a way to achieve its goals. Now, can you disagree with that, with what's going on? The war fighting that's taking place on the streets over there is fierce, ferocious. Um, if you didn't know, due to the uniforms that these individuals were wearing and your geography wasn't too good, if someone said to you, look at this intense fighting between Russia and Ukraine, you'd probably believe it. Because it's as bad, if not worse, in some areas, the actual fighting that's taking place here. Uh, corner missiles and mortar shells were fired at these settlements in these uh, camps in the upper areas of Galilee, or Upper Galilee. So this settlement here is right next to the UN 2000 Blue Line. That's the line I was talking about. As you can see, these um, border, that's the northeastern part of that Blue Line as well. These settlements have been targeted. Uh, Israeli Channel 12 says that three anti-tank missiles were fired in Upper Galilee and the army responded to the sources of the shooting. The artillery continues to bomb neighbourhoods in uh, Al Sabrab and Al Zaitun in Gaza. Artillery fire is just smashing this place to bits. It is unrecognisable now, guys. Speaking of artillery, uh, the Israeli army and artillery targeted with heavy shells the outskirts of Kalkifa and Al Adisya Al Tayyiba, right next to the I think it's the two thousand line again. Um, these areas here, you can see in depth photographs of what it looks like. Now, these artillery targets with heavy shells on the outskirts, as you can see, it's not going to be too much collateral damage there, guys, okay, just due to the nature of um, what's going on over there. Uh, due to the nature of the geography of the ground, sorry. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, we are deeply concerned about the intensification of violence against Palestinians in the West Bank. Yep, I am too. An Israeli paratroop officer was killed in the Gaza Strip. So that's pretty, it's a bad loss, guys. All right, officers are highly trained individuals. The Israeli military is a very capable military. Okay, the fact that they're losing officers on the ground just shows you how kinetic these operations actually are. Now, this area here is uh, being targeted by artillery uh, in the southern Lebanon. Seen this uh, quite quite prominently over the past few days, guys. All right, lots of artillery strikes taking place here. The Israeli army announced that fighter jets carried out strikes on Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon. So not just artillery strikes going on along this border. We've got um, we've got fighter jets taking place as well. Lots of footage here, actually. So that's the uh, 
destruction of those fighter jets. Quite unclear, the footage troops, so we'll not play that out too long. Um, the Israeli army is completing operational control of the Gaza port. Why is that significant? So let's have a look at this. Ports in itself, guys, pretty much normally always have one way in. Um, if you control the port, you effectively, in Israel's case, have... Um, of, of fully placed that area under siege, okay, because we understand that by land, um, there's only really one main point logistically to get in. There's others, but main for logistics is the Rafa um, border or crossing, which is heavily disputed at the best of times. It's uh, targeted regular. It's not really the safest of places due to the nature of um, what's going on in Israel and um, Palestine. But the port is a significant thing because it stops weaponry and munitions going in. Um, it also stops food and medication and other supplies, all right? It, it's just, so it's a, a real um, nail in the coffin with regards to the actual siege taking place. We're only going to see things intensify for Israel and uh, we're only going to see the uh, Palestinian people degrade ever so more. Not having that port is a, um, is a major, major loss, really, when you think about it. But uh, that's what Israel's doing right now. They've uh, pretty much come completed that operation they do have custody of this port which enables their military to utilize this and yeah we're just going to see it intensify even more hezbollah have been targeting the israeli site in miskfam and almaj opposite the towns of al adisa these areas here um, and the rab talatin so un 2000 blue line again we've seen loads of action at this border guys that's what it looks like um, with the limited imagery that we do have and uh, artillery is continuing to uh, target the areas between the towns of Mal Aishjab, which is uh, south of Lebanon. So you can see these towns here, just regular towns, guys. Um, so whilst we're talking about that port, actually, the Israeli army claimed its commandos, um, uh, the Shaitet 13, captured a key stronghold of Hamas over the past days, killing militants and destroying military tunnel shafts. Military tunnel shafts have been um, a hindrance for, for Israel to be able to conduct ground operations because quite effectively, uh, these tunnels, you don't know where they start or end, guys, all right? There's apparently miles of them underneath Gaza and Palestine. So they've um, killed these militants and destroying the multiple, multiple tunnel shafts is only going to aid in their operation. We've seen the success of this port being captured, guys, okay? Um, this stronghold appeared to be close to the Gaza port, which means that it's uh, to be expected that they've took control and custody of this area. Um, I believe that uh, stronghold was probably a, um, a, a key reason why that port was um, actually taken. So let's have a look. I believe we've got a bit of footage. Right, so you see the commandos there um, on the beachheads and loads of tanks and stuff there ready to go. Yeah, that's a full-on beachhead operation. Soldiers have been protecting the faces, so this has been very, very busy there. Very, very busy indeed, but they've um, been successful in their operation, guys. We need to understand one thing. The capability of Israel is phenomenal, okay? So it's not as if they aren't capable of doing what they say they're going to do. Um, it's whether or not you agree with what they're doing is uh, humane or not. Because they're so capable, is it justified um, to absolutely obliterate Gaza? I'm, I'm not for it. Renowned Israel Army stri Artillery and um, uh, renewed, sorry, strikes in these areas here. Um, bit of footage. I'm not going to zoom in on this one. It keeps the picture good. Residential towns and areas got a bit of a pile on there, so potentially um, a little bit of a power outage as a result of that. Stopping electricity is a um, one of those things that happens in in a siege, so to speak. They want to take out all of the power and amenities. Israeli army artillery fire resumed towards Mis al Jabr al and airstrikes continue all over this region, guys. Um, about seven hours ago, 
uh, this area right next to the Palestinian National Internet. Um, I think it's a cafe or something. Right next to the, near the uh, Al Thrawa Road, there was a, an attack. And what that looked like is effectively this picture here some form of strike taking place. Israeli Army Special Forces were at the Shifa Hospital. We mentioned this before about the flag. Um, yeah, no, if that's a bit um, insensitive, I think it's insensitive. You're in a hospital, raising flags in hospitals where you know that there's been people killed, injured, maimed as a result of this collateral damage. Nothing to be proud of, guys. Um, I'm certainly not very proud um, of that. But, um, troops, thanks for watching. Please drop a like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the war so far. I'll see you in the comments.